In the heart of a bustling city, there stood a quaint little flower shop named Blossoms and Blooms. The shop, with its vibrant displays of roses, tulips, daisies, and lilies, was a bright spot amidst the concrete jungle. It was a place where people came to celebrate their joys, soothe their sorrows, and find a little bit of beauty in their everyday lives. The shop was owned by a kind and gentle woman named Clara. Clara had inherited the flower shop from her grandmother and had poured her heart and soul into it. She loved everything about flowers, their colors, their scents, and the joy they brought to people's lives. Clara was a quiet and reserved person, often shy around strangers, but she found solace and expression through her work with flowers. Every morning, Clara would open the shop early, arranging the flowers with meticulous care. She knew the regular customers by name and always had a warm smile and a kind word for everyone who walked through her doors. But there was one customer who always made her heart flutter, a handsome young man named Daniel. Daniel worked at a nearby office and had been coming to the flower shop every week for the past year. He always bought a bouquet of flowers, sometimes roses, sometimes lilies, and occasionally a mix of wildflowers. Clara had always been curious about who the flowers were for, but she was too shy to ask. She admired Daniel from afar, enjoying their brief interactions and the warmth of his smile. One sunny morning, Daniel walked into the shop, and as usual, Clara's heart skipped a beat. She greeted him with her usual shy smile. Good morning, Daniel, she said softly. What can I get for you today? Daniel smiled back, his eyes twinkling. Good morning, Clara. I was thinking of getting a bouquet of tulips today. They look especially beautiful. Clara nodded and set to work carefully selecting the freshest tulips and arranging them into a stunning bouquet. As she handed the bouquet to Daniel, he hesitated for a moment, then spoke. Clara, I've been coming to this shop for a long time now, and I have to tell you something, he began, his voice sincere. These flowers I've been buying, they're for my mother. She loves flowers and I visit her every week to bring her a bouquet. But there's something else I want to say. Clara's heart raced as she listened, her eyes wide with anticipation. Yes, she prompted gently. Daniel took a deep breath. I also come here because of you, Clara. I've always admired your kindness and the way you bring so much beauty into the world through your flowers. I know this might be a bit sudden, but would you like to go out with me sometime? Maybe for coffee or dinner? Clara felt a rush of emotions, surprise, joy, and a hint of nervousness. She had never imagined that Daniel felt the same way she did. She looked into his eyes and saw sincerity and hope. I, I would love to, Daniel, she replied, her voice trembling slightly. I'd love to get to know you better. Daniel's face lit up with a smile, and Clara felt her heart swell with happiness. They exchanged phone numbers and made plans to meet for coffee the following Saturday. The days leading up to their date were a whirlwind of excitement and nerves for Clara. She found herself daydreaming about Daniel, wondering what their date would be like and what they would talk about. She wanted everything to be perfect. When Saturday finally arrived, Clara dressed in a simple yet elegant dress and made her way to the cozy little cafe where they had agreed to meet. 
She arrived a few minutes early, her heart pounding with anticipation. As she waited, she couldn't help but think about how much her life had changed in just a few short days. Daniel arrived right on time, looking handsome and relaxed. He greeted Clara with a warm smile, and they found a quiet corner table where they could talk. The cafe was charming, with soft music playing in the background and the rich aroma of freshly brewed coffee filling the air. They started with small talk, discussing their favorite books, movies, and hobbies. Clara found herself relaxing as they chatted, feeling a connection growing between them. Daniel was easy to talk to, and his genuine interest in her made her feel special. As the conversation flowed, Daniel shared more about his life. He talked about his job at the office, his close relationship with his mother, and his love for nature and hiking. Clara, in turn, shared stories about her grandmother and how she had inspired her love for flowers. I always felt a special bond with my grandmother, Clara said, her eyes shining with emotion. She taught me everything I know about flowers and how they can brighten someone's day. I miss her every day, but working in the shop makes me feel close to her. Daniel reached across the table and gently took Clara's hand. She must have been a wonderful woman, he said softly. And she's left a beautiful legacy in you and your shop. Clara felt a warmth spread through her at Daniel's words. She squeezed his hand, grateful for his understanding and kindness. They continued to talk for hours, sharing laughter and stories until the cafe began to close. As they walked out into the evening air, Daniel turned to Clara. I had a wonderful time tonight, Clara. I'd love to see you again. Clara smiled, feeling a sense of happiness and contentment she hadn't felt in a long time. I had a wonderful time too, Daniel. I'd love to see you again as well. They exchanged another smile, and Daniel walked Clara home, their hands brushing together as they walked. As they reached her door, Daniel leaned in and kissed Clara gently on the cheek. Good night, Clara, he said softly. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night, Daniel, Clara replied her heart fluttering. As she closed the door behind her, Clara leaned against it, feeling a rush of joy and excitement. She couldn't believe how wonderful the evening had been and how much she was looking forward to seeing Daniel again. Over the next few weeks, Clara and Daniel's relationship blossomed like the flowers in her shop. They went on more dates, exploring the city together, going for long walks in the park, and enjoying quiet evenings at the cafe. Clara found herself falling more and more in love with Daniel, and she felt a sense of happiness and fulfillment she had never known before. One evening, as they were sitting in the park watching the sunset, Daniel turned to Clara with a serious expression. Clara, there's something I need to tell you, he said, taking her hand in his. Clara felt a flicker of worry but nodded, encouraging him to continue. I've been offered a job in another city, Daniel said, his voice filled with emotion. It's a great opportunity for me, but it means I'll have to move away. Clara's heart sank at his words. The thought of being separated from Daniel was unbearable. When do you have to leave? She asked softly. In a month, Daniel replied. But I don't want to lose you, Clara. I care about you too much. Tears filled Clara's eyes as she looked at Daniel. I care about you too, 
Daniel. More than I can say. But I don't know how we can make this work with you so far away. Daniel squeezed her hand, his eyes filled with determination. We'll find a way, Clara. We can visit each other, call each other every day. And maybe, in time, we can find a way to be together permanently. Clara nodded, feeling a glimmer of hope. I don't want to lose you either, Daniel. We'll make it work. Over the next month, Clara and Daniel cherished every moment they had together. They made plans for visits and talked about their hopes for the future. When the day came for Daniel to leave, they shared a tearful goodbye, promising to stay in touch and make their long-distance relationship work. The days without Daniel were hard for Clara. She missed him terribly but they talked on the phone every day, sharing their thoughts, their worries, and their dreams. Daniel's visits were the highlights of her life, and they made the most of every moment they had together. As the months passed, Clara and Daniel's love only grew stronger. They faced the challenges of a long-distance relationship with determination and a deep commitment to each other. Clara poured her heart into her work at the flower shop, finding solace in the beauty of the flowers and the joy they brought to others. One sunny afternoon, a year after Daniel had moved away, Clara was arranging a bouquet of roses when the bell above the shop door jingled. She looked up to see Daniel standing there, a wide smile on his face. Daniel, she exclaimed, running to him and throwing her arms around him. What are you doing here? Daniel hugged her tightly, then pulled back to look into her eyes. I have news, Clara. I've been offered a new job, right here in this city. I can move back and be with you. Clara's heart soared at his words. Oh, Daniel, that's wonderful. I can't believe it. Daniel cupped her face in his hands, his eyes filled with love. I knew I couldn't stay away from you, Clara. You're the most important person in my life, and I want to be with you. Tears of joy filled Clara's eyes as she kissed Daniel, feeling a sense of happiness and fulfillment she had never known before. Their love had endured the challenges of distance and time, and now they could finally be together. With Daniel back in the city, Clara felt like her life was complete. They spent their days working, exploring the city, and planning their future together. Daniel often helped out at the flower shop, and Clara loved having him by her side. One evening, as they were closing up the shop, Daniel took Clara's hand and led her to the back garden where they often spent quiet moments together. The garden was filled with blooming flowers, and the air was fragrant with their sweet scent. Daniel took a deep breath and looked into Clara's eyes. Clara, there's something I need to ask you he said, his voice filled with emotion. Clara's heart skipped a beat as she looked at him. What is it, Daniel? Daniel got down on one knee, pulling a small velvet box from his pocket. Clara, from the moment I met you, I knew you were the one for me. You bring so much beauty and joy into my life, and I can't imagine my life without you. Will you marry me? Tears streamed down Clara's face as she nodded, unable to speak. Yes, Daniel, she finally managed to say. Yes, I will marry you. Daniel slipped the ring onto her finger and stood, pulling her into a tight embrace. They kissed, their hearts full of love and happiness. 
As they stood in the garden, surrounded by the flowers that had brought them together, Clara felt a deep sense of gratitude and joy. She had found the love of her life, and she knew that their future together would be filled with happiness and love. The flower shop continued to thrive, and Clara and Daniel worked together, creating beautiful arrangements and spreading joy to their customers. They often thought about the journey that had brought them together and felt grateful for every moment. Clara knew that love, like the flowers in her shop, needed care and attention to grow. And with Daniel by her side, she knew that their love would continue to bloom, filling their lives with beauty and happiness for years to come.